Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved here on the Ark Venture server. We are getting around to uh, making quite a bit of different stuff. Um, I have chosen the island as our map. Um, I kind of decided that I haven't really played the island much uh, in the amount of time uh, that I've been playing Ark. And I've, I've played it a bunch for like rp stuff like on uh on sk but i've never I, I haven't played it just to play the island in such a long time that i thought it'd be good to come over to this uh give it a shot for a little while see how it plays out and you know we'll kind of go from there so that is exactly what i am doing um we still have the same mod list for the most part uh what else is there? That's all S, uh, just normal stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and just drop that. Um, I've basically built up the same barn. Um, I thought about looking for some extensions for the map as well, just to add a little flavor to it. Uh, I think we're actually going to have some people join us also um, in the form of, of Zul'jin and uh, Stub so far. Uh, I don't know if they've started on the server yet or not. They have just contacted me about it and been like, hey, I want to give it a shot. And uh, so we may or may not see them. You know, who, who knows? But the invitation is open to them. Uh, ramp is obscured. Let's, uh, let's see. Am I not going to be able to put one over on this side? Probably not. Not that there's much of a need on that side. This side, there definitely is a need. There we go. Good. And we still got to put a good roof on here. Now, I did pick up a blueprint from one of the drops. It's a ramshackle raptor saddle blueprint. Uh, not terrible. Not great either. But, hey, it is a start. Uh, I want to go ahead and make ourselves a little uh, storage box here. And I'm going to put this bad boy right next to the door. And this is going to hold our stuff. So we still have our tribe? Yeah, we do. Okay. Yeah, you can actually see I died a couple of times uh, while being out in the world. That was that was rough. Uh, I had a couple of raptors over here kind of coming up on me and, and doing bad things. So, yeah, I have a roof to put on this place. And then we're going to head out and see about taming something up that can gather berries. Probably another trike. And go from there. See where our day takes us. All right, guys. I got about 30 arrows. And I'm not sure if these are going to be enough. But over here next to my house, there is a divine turtle. Where'd he go? There he is. Divine turtle. I have no idea how hard this guy is to tame. Uh, it's only a level four. So we're going to see how... Oh it's, oh, it's a passive tame. Oh, check that out. It's a passive tame. <laughs> I was getting ready to bow it in the head. Um, yeah, I mean, it's super low level, so that's something. Wait till it's hungry again. Okay. Well, that was severely uneventful compared to what I thought it was going to be. Uh, let's see if we can get a divine turtle saddle. This is going to take a divine soul and a carbon enemy saddle. So carbon enemy saddle... There's that. Let's see if we can do it again. Nope. Still needs to wait until it's hungry. Divine souls. Now, here's the thing is I have no idea how to get a divine soul. Uh, divine soul. Beaver dam. Hmm. I wonder. I have no idea how you get souls. Maybe it's from killing these guys. Maybe I should try and kill this one. But it's the first one I've seen, so I don't want to kill it necessarily. I would much rather try and tame it. Can I just ride on its back until it's hungry? <laughs> I am passive taming the thing that I am riding. Oh, there. Yeah. Take me on an adventure while I tame you, good sir. Uh, oh, we're locked up for a second. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right. Adventures? Adventures. All right. The final berry. Bum, ba, da, ba, the divine turtle. All right, divine turtle. What shall we do today? In your inventory is absolutely nothing, actually. All right. 
Uh, we'll give you some berries. Um, I don't know what's special about you because I don't have a saddle. Uh, I don't know if you like do some like cool moves or anything like that. But come on, come on over this way, buddy. Come, come to me, divine turtle. Come to me, divine turtle. Are you stuck on the thing, divine turtle? Or do you just not realize you're supposed to follow me? Come, divine turtle. Ooh, he's he's fairly quick. I'll say that much. All right. Does he like do anything cool? Go get him. Get the pteranodon. Get the pteranodon. Get him. Do you like breathe fire or? Ooh, he does something. Look at that attack. Oh, he's like freezing him. That's cool. That was really cool. Go to sleep. I missed. Oh, no, I didn't. I hit him. Is he going to go to sleep or is he just like gone? Yeah, I think that one's gone. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you you did some damage. I got to admit that was that was fairly cool. That was fairly cool. All right. So, I need to figure out how to get these divine souls. And as much as I hate to do it, I kind of think it does involve probably killing these guys uh, for their souls. Now, as being my first divine, I don't necessarily want to do that to our divine turtle. So we're going to leave him here uh, until I can get one of those saddles. I don't I don't know another way to get divine souls. And it's mainly because I haven't seen anything necessarily. Um there's a, a drop out there in the water. It's a blue drop. I kind of want to go and get it. So we are going to ignore you. Okay. I think that's the same pteranodon that we ran into earlier. Uh, there's another blue drop off that way. A nice little dodo, a parasaur. All right. Um, jumping in the water and hopefully not running into anything too shark. Immediately shark. Shark immediately right there. Hi, shark. How are you? Are you doing well? And there's a spino. Um, okay, well, that is a bummer and a half. Like a, a big bummer and a half. Uh, you are going to attack me. Are you not? Okay. Oh, and it's gone. Well, all right. Well, nighttime's coming. Let's go ahead and wait for night to get over. All right, guys. You'll see a pego on my shoulder. The dang guy just came up and... What is that? Okay. <laughs> the dang guy just came up and stole my medjo berries. There is something over there. That is a male thylacrat. Okay, and then the things I was looking at were over here. Uh, let's see. Where are they at? Yeah, there's one right there. That is a dreadful raptor. And that is another dreadful raptor. All right, let's see if we can take out a dreadful raptor. What do you guys think? Oh, yes. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Okay. Caught him again. Go to sleep. Please go to sleep. Please go to sleep. I really want you to go to sleep. Okay. Okay. It's running away. You get out of here. Go away. I don't have time for your shenaniganery. All right, where did this thing go? Okay, he fell asleep in the water. Of course he fell asleep in the water. Um, but its oxygen is not depleting. Oh, wait. Tameable by anyone. Um, it's almost like you can't have food on it, maybe? Man, I think I probably need to do some research into this mod a little bit. All right, you stupid pego, go away. 
Apparently I just tamed another one. You took my medjool berries. Hold to remove. That one just took my raw meat. Are you kidding me? You jerk. You're level 96. Okay. So let's come over here. Let's put some meat on this guy. Watch it be like a passive tame or something like that. Oh no, he's taming up. He's taming up for real. Uh, what is what is that? Is that just a dead carbon enemy? Okay, dreadful raptor. Let's take a look at this. Dread, dreadful raptor. Equipped. Equip a dreadful raptor to ride this divine soul. We're gonna need a Gaia shrine. Gaia, G-A-I-A -A Shrine. So we got to make this. We're going to need cementing paste. Uh, transfer souls back to where they belong. Okay, Dreadful Raptor. All right, come up here, buddy. All right, we're going to run back, and I'm going to see about possibly making a Dreadful Shrine. Okay, that's not good. That Okay, okay, Dreadcat, okay. All right, Thylocrats, get out of here. Thylocrats. Okay, okay. Well, the dreadful raptor is gone. Whew, okay. <laughs> yeah, I just pooped. Yep, that just happened. Okay. Um, let's give you some health. And then let's send you... Man, you were just running, aren't you? Go get that thing. Go get it. Go fight it. I'm going to grab some arrows and I'm going to help you. Okay, it's running. Do it. Fight it. Fight it. Where's it headed? Hopefully. Okay, get the thylacat. cat. Get it. Get it. Okay, we're going to try and kill this thing. Level 68, so it's it's bigger than us. If it kills my divine turtle, I'm running. <laughs> They're both bloody, yes. Okay, we killed that. What's in its inventory? Just a couple of thylaclaws. So there's nothing really, like, special about killing these guys, apparently. Which is a bummer. Did you get anything? No? Oh, wait, I got a soul shard. A small glowing essence shard collected from augmented dinos used to craft soul matrixes. In its smallest form, this is a safe material. When many soul shards come in contact with a violent energy, will release. If sudden energy cannot be consumed, a titan of an ascendant and a titan... A soul matrix will not form. Weird. Okay. That's cool. All right. All right. All right. Let's make this, uh, or let's try to gather up the materials to make this shrine. Big problem. Big problem. Big problem. We have a dreadful mantis right outside our house. Oh, I killed it, but it killed our divine guy. Man, that is a... That sucks. That sucks so bad. But we're going to have some organic polymer and some chitin. Um, you just have some berries on you. Well, I mean, I guess we'll chop him up and use him for something later. I, just ugh, dreadful. Everything's dreadful, man. Everything is so dreadful. It's just bad. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, it's it's... It's not the greatest situation to be in, I'll tell you that much. But we have some polymer now, so that'll be useful for something, I figure. And yeah, I'm still I'm cooking up the metal for the um what am I trying to make? The uh, uh I just looked it up. The Gaia Gaia shrine. I'm cooking up some metal for that. Um, I am actually about to cancel that so I can start making some cementing paste as well, which I have not actually learned yet. I have learned. I just learned a different kind of it. 
All right, let's go ahead and start crafting that. I'm going to need more stone. All right, even though I have no more of these guys left, we do have our shrine. Uh, let's go ahead, and I think I'll place this right over here in this corner. You know what? It's a shrine. Let's kind of place it out from the wall just a little bit there. Kind of like so. We'll line it up just a little bit better. And shrine it up. All right, so there's our shrine. Saddles, divine, divine turtle. So that is that. Uh, there's also a metalwork structure. Allows you to allow or craft your Gaia tools and metal alloys here. Um, let's go ahead and make it and see what there is. Uh, I'm kind of, I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of at a loss here as to, wow, that thing's huge. Um, let's go ahead and I want to line that up just like so. Okay. So we've got some metal works, weapons, ammo, We've got a Gaia Bola, Gaia Trank Bola. We got spears, poison spears, uh, copper. All right, so let's see. There are different types of ore. So there's a copper ore, there's a iron ore, and a zinc ore. So these are just combinations of different things. So we can have, um, you know, three metal instead of two makes copper. Uh, five metal and some charcoal makes iron, and then... What is this one? Five metal and five obsidian makes zinc. So that will make that stuff. Uh, let's see. Let's look at copper. There are copper coins. Copper coins. Okay. Uh, there's a copper sword. There's copper armor. That kind of looks like chitin and then a copper shield. Uh, let's look at um, zinc. Let's see. Zinc coated ghillie suit. So there's all kinds of zinc stuff there. Uh, what was the other kind of ore that was there? It was iron. So let's see if there's iron flak. Uh, looks like it's just got a, a nice tint to it almost. Um, okay. And then I don't, I still haven't figured out how to get the souls, um, which is weird. So there's still the crafting shields, weapons, you know, different stuff like that. Let's go ahead and, uh, back up there okay so we have a combat drone that's that's a another mod so that we'll get into that in a bit the industrial floor the artifact workbench places souls of augmented dinos in the artifact bench to craft artifacts to lead to in-game content that will take a hundred souls um okay i i'm kind of I'm kind of at a loss. I don't really know. I think I probably do need to spend some time looking into this mod and figuring out what exactly uh, I need to do to gather these souls. It, in, in my head, it seems like it would be fairly simple. Uh, but that is proving to not necessarily be the case with this stuff. There's a st own Steva Buds can be... Planted in a medium crop plot. Okay. Yeah, I mean, because I, I have a raptor now. There's a stone behemoth wall. Um, there's a Gaia alchemy table. You craft gemstones and imbue items there. There's elixirs. There's, there's so much different stuff. A fancy banner. So these are just banners of different things. All right. Uh, I want to learn the scissors. We got skins. Yeah, I don't know entirely yet. Um, I am wearing chitin armor. I have uh, just kind of replaced it with the skin of desert cloth, and it looks good. I need to get some, some different colors and stuff like that. I just tamed this raptor just a few minutes ago and got him. Um, it was just kind of out and about, so it wasn't, like, really hard to get him or anything. Uh, let's get on him. Let's see, are we a hundred below what his weight is? No, not quite. All right, let me put up some things here. Let me put up that and those and that and that. That should help out quite a bit in his movement speed. Okay, yeah, I mean, we've got ourselves a mount. I think I'm going to look around a little bit more and see what I can find. 
All right, so I just ran into another divine turtle, and instead of taming this one, I killed it. Uh, and now I have a divine soul, an escaped soul obtained from a divine dino. The gods must be eager to get this back. So now to make, say, that divine turtle saddle that we had, uh, this will take two of these souls. So I have to kill two divines to be able to get the saddle to make... Uh, or to get enough stuff to make the saddle for this guy in the first place. Um, I also see another creature up ahead, and we're going to go check this thing out. I have no idea how strong it is. Uh, it is level 20, so you can kind of see it if you look off in the distance. Uh, he is running. He's got some big old long arms. Let's see how this does against a werewolf. That's right, let's fight a werewolf. It's a female werewolf, level 20. Bite it. I have no idea. I think this is from the Dragon Punk mod. Uh, and I just killed it. And it's gone? Did I eat it? I guess I ate it. All right, well, that was that was the werewolf down. That was not bad at all. Uh, I think there's a dreadful mantis over that way. That looks like a dreadful spino. It, it looks pretty dreadful, if you ask me. It looks like it's in a bad, bad way. So let's, um, I'm not going to spend much time over that direction, nor am I going to risk fighting a Therizinosaur uh, on a raptor. That is just not smart. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoyed the fact that I came back to the island. Um, I think it's going to be pretty cool to check out and to mess around with. I do need to spend a little bit of time, I guess, just gathering up uh, resources and stuff. Um, and the nice thing is, I know on this map, there's everything that we're going to need. So uh, I don't have to worry about that all that much. So hopefully you guys enjoy it again. If you did, please hit that like button. If uh, you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below. Have a good one, guys.